Indices and Certs, Grade A, A star, GCSE, Level 9 plus from National Curriculum. Okay, so what was the previous question, 21? Um, it was really only a Grade C question, so that's why I thought probably it was aimed at a Grade B with the complexity of it. This jumps right up to the, the sort of the hard stuff. So, finding the value of 27 to the minus 2 thirds is non calculated If it's calculated, we just type it in. But first of all, we when we're doing powers with a, with a negative power, we deal with I would deal with the negative first. So, the first thing we do is realize this negative power means the reciprocal of 27. So, when we're doing that, the negative turns it into 1 over 27. If it was a fraction like 2 thirds, Reciprocating it using the negative power means to turn it upside down. So the power of minus 1 turns things upside down essentially because 27 is 27 over 1, 1 over 27, 2 over 3, 3 over 2. So this goes to um, 1 over 27 and that's to the power of 2 thirds. Could have written that a bit better. So now we've got to deal with this. So I'm actually going to stop the the one over bit and think about 27 to the power of two thirds separately. So that's the same as 27 um, to the power of one third to the power of two. So I've split the two, two thirds into two separate powers, a third and two. Power third is the is the same as the cube root. So if it was a power of a half, that'd be the square root. And if it's a power of a third, that's how we write a cube root in terms of powers. So the cube root 27, and the more, the type, more of these you do, the, the more you will get to know these, because there's only so many things they can ask you when you're not using a calculator. This is a very common one, the cube root 27. Other cube roots you should know are the cube root of 8, the cube root of... 64 and maybe the cube root of 125 and the cube root of 1000 are the most common ones. This is equal to 2, 4, 5 and 10. So this one's 3 and 3 squared is equal to 9. So going back to this, 27 to the 2 thirds is equal to 9 so our answer is 1 over that which is 1 over 9. You would get um, one mark for either, usually for either reciprocating, so putting the one over 27 to the two thirds, or for finding that um, 27 to the two thirds is nine. So you've got something there you would get a mark for. Okay, um, the third question, this bottom, bottom bit, um, you've got to write it in the form where a plus b times the square root of two. It's given any clue, it's got something to do with the square root of two, but this. Um, thing here, this what we call a quotient or fraction with the square root on the bottom. We need to get rid of that square root on the bottom because we don't have anything on the bottom of this. And this is called um, rationalizing the denominator. To do that, we need to times by the square root of 2, and we need to times this whole top by the square root of 2. When we times the bottom by the square root of 2, we get the square root of 4. And Hopefully we know the square root of 4 is just 2. So that's why we times by root 2, because it gets rid of the square root. Because we end up squaring a square number, square rooting a square number to get a whole number. Now this top bit times by 2, we get 8 lots of root 2. And we times 8 by root 2 minus root 18 times root 2. And root 18 times root 2 is the square root. The rule we can use here is when we're multiplying square roots, so the square root of 18 times the square root of 2 is equal to the square root of 18 times 2. That doesn't work for adding or subtracting, but it does work for multiplying and dividing. So we end up with the square root of 36, which we should know is 6. So we end up with 8 root 2 minus 6. Then we just divide the 2 into the top, so we get, let's bring this over to here, we end up with 8 divided by 2, which is 4 root 2. So if we had 8 root 2s and we're going to halve them, we end up with 4 root 2s and a half of 6 is 3. So our A bit is the bit, the number on its own, which is minus 3. And we're adding 4 times the root 2. So B is 4. And there we go, that's worth 3 marks. Um, I think you get one method mark for trying to multiply by the square root of 2. If you write that down, that's a method mark. And uh, you will get one mark for getting the minus three and one mark for getting the four.
So that's quite a tricky question, but um, you should be able to work through those with enough practice.